nerdy dude stuff. For those of you keeping track at home, today's beer of the day is brought to you by Crooked Can Brewing out of Winter Garden, Florida. This is the Space Cowboy Hazy Double India Pale Ale, sitting at 8.5% alcohol by volume. This has atmospheres of pineapple, guava, papaya, papaya and citrus with a nice pine note. 4.0 out of 5. Cheers to you guys. Bink! What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video about mining at home. Cryptocurrency, yay! If this is your first time on the channel, please take a moment to subscribe, turning on the bell notification, and liking this video. This is you guys. Mm. Now, we have been consistently trying to bring you guys content on little devices that you can plug and play. And if you watched my last video this week, it was a little long, 30 minutes of setting up this little pebble tracker device to dual mine IOTX tokens and the Fry Foundation token. And today's video is going to be bad math and us going over how much you can earn pretty much because it's it's cut and dry at this point. It's not like, you know, based on hash power or anything like that, but how much you can expect to earn with this device and is it going to be worth it? I'll have my opinions towards the very end, very full and transparent, uh, but I need to give you the numbers and the stats first and that way you can make an educated decision if you want to join me on the journey. I obviously have one. I obviously am gonna let this go and I'm gonna earn in mine. Always do your own research. I'm just putting my journey out there. So without further ado, this is a results video. Uh, this isn't a results video. Well, technically it is, but we're gonna do a full blown one week results video next week. This is just what the earnings have been so far and everything's cut and dry. You'll see here on screen in just a second. So without further ado, let's do our little advertisement and then we're gonna go. I don't actually have a discount code if you want to get your hands on one of these devices, but since it does dual mine on the Fry Foundation, uh, if you want to grab yourself one of the Fry miners, like you see on screen, this is the des or the bandwidth miner which I have running here, and I just finished installing my decibel miner. I'm very happy with those results. We'll cover that in another video. You can use the code down below, Nerdy Dude, and save yourself some money when you get one of these, or when you get one of their other many great options that they have. And of course, we want to keep talking about Demo. Save yourself 10% on a Demo device. It's $99. This is one of my favorite absolute projects going on right now. And then if you purchase this off of Helium Mart using the code Nerdy Dude Stuff, save yourself 10%. And then punch, punch the code in the Demo app above my head to earn yourself 50 Demo. I get 50 Demo, and you're already on the way to ROIing on this wonderful device. We're going to be doing another results video on that here in the next week. Links in the description, description and stay tuned. Last video. We set this up, and if you're still having trouble, I know it's a long-winded video. The one thing I would go back and tell myself before filming that video is to be patient and take your time. These run off of cellular data, which we're going to go over price points today because that's involved in how much you're earning. These run off of cellular data. It's not the fastest network. It's through T-Mobile, so you need to be super-duper patient, and don't try to be a chubby YouTuber finishing all the how-to setups while recording at the same time. Okay. But anyway, so the main thing about these little devices, this is uh, for those of you asking what exactly it does, the, the, the point to this one, and we have a, like we have some developer tools in our kit if we wanted to do more, but the point to this one is this is an indoor air quality sensor, uh, so it's detecting things like you know O2 levels and blah, 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 very similar to back when we did uh, Planet Watch, so that's what this one does. Now, this is strictly results oriented. This is just the numbers that we've earned or we will be earning. This isn't actually our one week experience. This is just everything that's cut and dry a little bit more into the project that you're gonna see here on screen. Again, you're gonna be dual mining. So that's something to keep into consideration. The Fry token and IOTX through EnviroBlog. It's very cut and dry on what it says. If you have one of these devices and you set it up, you're gonna earn 10 IOTX tokens per day. These get paid out late Sunday evening based on your time zone. So that's 70 IOTX tokens a week. IOTX at today's current price, which is what this video is based off of, is sitting at four cents. So with IOTX, we're just gonna put in the number as we see it, times seven, you're gonna, no, <laughs> bad math, yay! So you're gonna be earning, duh, 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 duh. you're gonna be earning 10 a day, so that's 42 cents a day times seven. So you're gonna be earning $2.96 a week with just that device on IOTX. Now, you're also, and I have my Algorand, my Algorand wallet here, you're also gonna be earning 161 Fry tokens, 161 point something, 
Uh, we're gonna go into our asset here. You're gonna be earning 161. No, we want those transact. Yeah, you're gonna be earning 161. Where is it? I love doing this. This is terrible. I'm always bad at this. Transactions, maybe. Is it mine? It's not. This isn't my my transactions. Let me see if I can find the transaction. Uh, let's go back to my wallet. That's not me. I'm still on the fry token. Let's go back to my wallet. There we go. All right, so right here, you're going to earn 161.79 fry tokens a day. So that's 161.79 times 7, because basically this is all based on mining. So you're going to earn 1,132.53 fry tokens a week. Let's see what the current price of the fry tokens would be at that rate. So I'm going to go over here to Tiny Man. We're going to get 1,000, basically 52 cents a day. So 1,192. I know it's not going to tell me that correctly. 32. 32. So you're going to be earning $3.67 a week. Okay. So we're currently earning 2.9687 plus $3.67 a week. So it's $6.64 a week, dual mining, two tokens, IOTX and Fry. We're just going to multiply that by four, four weeks in a um. Yeah, we'll just multiply that by four, or maybe I should divide that by seven. Do it by day. We'll go. Okay, we'll 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 knock that down to by day. So you're going to be earning just under a dollar a day, so ninety five cents a day. We're going to say the month is you know thirty. I know it fluctuates twenty nine this year, thirty one, thirty. But we're just going to say this is on a thirty average. So you're going to be earning twenty eight dollars and forty five cents a month. That's flat out. That's not going to change. That's that's what they said. Well, EnviroBlog will probably change shortly when they launch and do their own token. And they'll switch it from IOTX to their own token. And then we'll see what that's going to be. So that could all very well change. But as of right now, as of recording this video, February 7th, you're earning 10 IOTX tokens a day. So the grand total for that is $28.45 a month. Now here's the kicker. You have to pay for data on these devices. So this is based off the US prices. I could probably see the plans. Okay, this is based off of US price. It looks like Australia and global are a little bit more, but Europe, Canada, and United States are in the same ballpark, which is great based on what these do. They, it's gonna cost us eight cents a megabyte. I know it says as low as, and there's an asterisk there, but we're not gonna even bother looking at that. We're just gonna go straight into, these are gonna cost us eight cents a megabyte. You gotta think about that. Now, we've been using this for about two days, and this is this is gonna be super conservative numbers, so that way I'm not, you know, kerfuffling anything. I kinda wanna write down what we're earning currently. Yeah, let me see, let me get this. I think I have a pen here, I do. All right, so I wanna do this so I don't lose it. So we're gonna say 28.45 is what we're earning a month. This is our gross. Now we're gonna be doing our net. So if we go to our usage, it's gonna be at eight cents a megabyte. So based off of one day, right here, I've used 2.37. So we're gonna take 2.37, this is the data that I've been using, 2.37 times 0 0.08. We're gonna say that's 18, we're gonna say that's 19 cents a day. Multiply that by 30 to keep us fair, and it's costing us $5.68 a month. We're gonna say 69 because it's fun. Ha <laughs> We're saying it's costing us $5.69 a month in data to power these devices. Now they were saying some estimations between five to eight, um, you know, five to eight uh, dollars, five to twelve dollars, somewhere in that line. But based on the numbers that I see, you know, if, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, A to B, one, two, one plus one equal two, the numbers that I see on screen that I'm showing you. Right now, it's going to cost us five dollars and sixty-nine cents. And again, we'll we'll reevaluate this all in a week. That way, we'll have a full week of numbers and data and usage on screen that we can we can actually share and showcase and everything. But as of right now, um, five dollars and sixty-nine cents a month. Okay, so let's uh, so that um, global. If we want to be generous on that one, two point three eight times. 0.19 so then we're gonna multiply that by 30 so if you guys are outside of the region you're looking at 13 almost 14 dollars a month as well so with that being said 28.45 minus 5.69 our net potential profit if the tokens stay at the exact price the exact price right now we're gonna be making 22 dollars and 76 
a month. That's our net. And I believe these devices cost about $200. So if we take 200, divide that by 22.76, That's going to equal, it's going to take us about just shy of nine months to ROI on the device alone. So that's generating a passive income. After that, you're in the gold. It's going to take 8.78 months. Okay? It's very important things to consider. You're gross. And I can go one step farther for you guys. If you're paying that 19 cents, we're just going to go 19. We're not going to do 15 cents, but we're going to go right to the 19 cents. If you're paying that 19 cents, if that's what I was paying, minus... What was the total for us right there? 13566. Still you're going to be profiting $14.889.88. Take it for what you want if you find it's worth that, you know. The, I mean, I've got one going. It's not going anywhere. It's going to sit there and earn. We're going to keep it back here behind us at all times. We'll touch base on it. We're just going to keep earning and earning and earning. Now, what I'm probably going to do from my 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 perspective, my idea my idea is um, since we're earning more fry token with these devices, I'll probably pay the $5.65 out of the Fry token. This is kind of one of those scenarios where I have to pay for data, it comes out of my personal bank account, it tops off the, 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 the prepaid card, it's a pay-as-you-go plan. So every time my balance falls under $5, it adds $5 back in. So we're probably gonna get you know once a month a $5 transaction done from the bank account to top off our data to make sure, or, you know, the balance to make sure we have and we can consistently supply that data. So I do actually want to keep my costs at zero as, as, as balanced as they possibly can. And I will pay for that in the Fry token because we're getting, you know, we're getting the $28. So I'm going to take $5 out of that to net the $22 to pay off the data. So that way my bank account, even though I'm losing $5 here, but earning crypto over here, I want to keep my bank account even. Like my whole journey with crypto is to keep my bank account even. I don't like to spend. I like to earn. I like to mine, you know, passive income. Um, and then I make my passive income do things. That's that's my personal plan. So I want to keep the bank even, you know, five in, five out, five in, five out, five in, five out. And that's just how I'm going to go. Anywho, this is usually the part of the video where I wrap up as fast as possible and say that's about it for me today, guys. But I, I wanted to do the close up uh, angle to, you know, kind of dissect to be transparent about my thoughts and everything um with with mining with one of these now if you're someone that's looking to just get rich quick and this is a quick little project getting one isn't going to be like the profit for you like it just it, it's just not you're only making a net profit of like 22 a month or whatever it was you know whatever it was so it's not really fully profit now if you like me where i've got the fry miners i've got my decibel i've got my um bandwidth I've dual mining with Weather XM, so I'm getting that one. I've got this one now. So I have four different devices mining Fry Token, uh, which I'll do a full breakdown on that. Um, multiple other little little tiny like drips and drops. You know, I've got the Helium network. I'm earning the IoT tokens on Helium, which I'll do another video on that. It's about due for that. Uh, staking Solano, like all these other little ways to earn crypto, to completely passively earn crypto versus buying 100 of these and then setting up a hundred of these under one data plan or anything like that, which, you know, if, if that's something that you wanna do, you, you absolutely can, you know, you, you, you buy a hundred of these, make sure that you can put them wherever, so that way, you know, they're on their data, you, you know, one here, one in my office, one in my garage, one in my car, one in my wife's office, one in my in-laws, like, you know, just spread out a whole army of them to the point where it'll cost you a pretty penny to get up there, but you can be earning yourself like $2,000 a month after your data cost. But it's just interesting, like, I wanted to talk more about my thoughts on this because this little device, you know, when, when, when you start looking at mining, like I have a Doge Mini lying around here somewhere, a Doge Mini 2 that I never, I haven't installed, it's over there. I haven't installed it yet because I don't have a 12 PCIe um, power supply unit for it. But when I was looking at the return rates, the big consumption on that is power. And if I plugged it in here at my house, and I, you know, and I didn't have free power, I'd actually be losing about 19 cents a day. I'd be earning the Doge token, but losing in totality in the long run, 19 cents a day at current price of what doge i mean doge could you know go to the moon which it wouldn't but it would just you know rock and explode and then we're sitting pretty and that 19 cents is minuscule but to mine with that token i'm operating at a net loss until that token price goes up um so the big consumption is power with the bandwidth miner 
in the decibel minor, you, you, there is power consumption as well, but you know, they're, they're nothing too crazy, nothing too exorbitant or anything. It's just, you know, like powering a tiny little PC, like super small, like maybe like a five cent, eight cent, not even a day, um, you know, cost. But the bandwidth minor, you know, we have internet. What's what's wrong with shaving off a little bandwidth and sharing it out there? You know, we do it with like deeper and everything. Um, so that's 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 just a that's just a cost of living that it's piggybacking off of. Like I have to have power and I have to have internet, so it's a cost of living. Whereas this device, and they could probably be a little more successful if they were like, um, you know, I mean, it, it could be absolutely successful if someone like takes off and launches with these, but someone might be more enticed to purchase one at $200 if they operate off of Wi-Fi. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, because I mean, again, you could put this in your pocket and mine the air quality of your farts all day long, say it's an indoor miner. Um, but the, long story short, taking an ASIC miner and taking this, they have a, con like you have to pay an additional, like I have to I have to pay the data to earn on this. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just, that's, that's just kind of my thoughts, you know. It, it wouldn't necessarily hinder me from going into this, like, there's a reason why I wanted to do a 30 minute long video to get this set up and show you guys. Like I have no obligation to do any of that other than I want to create content. And when I post that video, I got paid $4 in YouTube ad revenue, which is awesome. But I haven't set up the, the Doge mini miner. Like I'll just live on screen, watch my 3d printer. I haven't set this up yet because as soon as I do, it's going to be operating at a net loss. I just didn't have the motivation to do. It. I mean, it's a it's a it's a beautiful little device, but there just wasn't the motivation for me to do it. Or you get the P, the, the the PSU the twelve you know pin connector PSU because of just the absolute overall cost. Like yes, there's a there's a, ne a needed a necessity a necessary cost to this for the data, but it's worth it in the long run. I'm only paying five, six, seven, eight bucks when I'm still earning. 20, you know, 25, 26, 27, 28 bucks a month. So there's that positive gain. Whereas this, I'm going to be paying more in power and really don't have the balance. I can't do the five in, five out, five in, five out into the bank account with this. Like if I were to sell my monthly profits, it still wouldn't cover the cost of power to run this. So you can see where the motivation lies differently. You know, as much as I would like to run this and start having it and showing footage and stuff, um, unless I find an opportunity to plug it in somewhere where I don't have to pay power and I can actually have it there, like, you know, in this park or something like that, you know, I just don't really have the motivation to do that. And you guys can call me stupid in the comments if you want. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, as a hobbyist, as a hobby miner with a nice, small, little, tiny passive income stream, you know, $20, $30 a week, maybe $50 a week, if I'm being under generous. Absolutely, it looks fun. I love having these like little devices. If you're someone that wants to get rich, you, you can't just buy one. So that's that's really what it is. It's not necessarily something I would say like avoid. Like if you want to be a hobbyist as well and you want to make that extra twenty dollars a month, twenty dollars is twenty dollars is twenty dollars. There's jokes about that, but anyway, um, overall, with the exception of the uh, setup and the need to have patience when you go through and set this thing up, um, I can now just tuck this away and never think about it again. Unless, you know, if there's a firmware update that gets pushed through on data, uh, that's the only time I would need to really think about it. And I just need to make sure, like, I don't need to pay the $5 back every time it takes $5 out. Like, I'm very fortunate in my career and my position in life to where the $5 isn't gonna make or break the bank. But if I wanted to, I could focus on that and make sure I put the $5 back in every time the $5 come out. Maybe I could just put it on a credit card. Like, you know, I have a credit card the balance is close to zero, but I make sure I spend every now and then on that credit card to keep the balance from being zero. Maybe instead of that, I just take the credit card. I apply that credit card to be my renewal for the $5 a month to pay for this. And that's what I do. I keep that credit card at line of credit active and it five in, five out, five in, five out, five in, five out, never closes. I don't know. I'm actually starting to think of more positives to have in this as just a solo. Builds your credit. This pocket miner dual mines two tokens and helps you build a perfect credit score. No. <laughs> well, that would be a fun clickbait title. But anyway, that's actually going to do it for me today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to me on Telegram, Twitter, or Discord. Links for all that stuff is in the description. Uh, blah, blah, YouTube stuff. I'm O'Price, and we'll see you guys next time.